hi and welcome to this episode of his word to me his word to me is a god-given idea where i share some of those things god had taught me while i was reading the scriptures or while i was even praying you know god's the way god works is that um it brings instructions to you it brings words to you and um whether you are hearing it or not or whether you are listening to it or not you know it keeps flooding your heart with instructions it keeps dropping words in your heart by the help of the holy spirit that resides on the inside inside of us and you know sometimes back uh, i was listening to uh, bishop Oedepo and he said something he said that um every second ideas flow through the mind of men and that's the same way you know god speaks to us so i'll be sharing with you some of those things i learned from god's word today and by god's grace um it shall be a blessing to you in the name of jesus lord i pray for the people that are listening watching i pray for the for the ears hearing eyes seeing and and, and heart receiving your word for, through me today i pray in the name of jesus those words will be a blessing to to them it will transform their lives for better for good in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we have prayed amen so what's happening today today i'll be sharing with you some things i learned from the book of daniel from um, chapter one from verse one to four and it says in the third year of the reign of of joachim king of judah that is verse one nebuchadnezzar king of babylon came to jerusalem and besieged it you know somebody will be thinking how could could um a, 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 an even or a, a non-believer take over a believer's life or a believer's kingdom verse 2 it says and the lord gave jehoiakim king of judah into his hand with some of the articles of the house of god which he carried into the land of china to the house of his god and he brought the articles into the treasure house of his god what that says to me is that it was actually god that gave nebuchadnezzar um joachim king of judah into the hands of nebuchadnezzar all right and that is the first thing i want us to, to i mean to see there he says even though joachim is the king of judah the lord still gave him up to nebuchadnezzar what this says is to me is that there are some mysteries we cannot understand until we get to the end of that mystery. There are some things that happen to us, to our lives, that we don't even understand until we get to the end of the story or the end of the whole thing. Right. The other thing I got from there is that anyone, including me, that I'm talking right now, we question why or how would God give his people into the hands of, of their enemy? But I have come to realize that God makes all things beautiful in his time. So what does that say to me? It says to me that it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter if you're, you, you think um, your enemies are taking over your territory. Oh my God. Let me come to tell you something. That God makes all things beautiful in his time. So whatever you're going through right now, right now, right now I speak, it, 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 God understands. There is nothing happening to you as a believer or anyone out there that God does not understand. You understand? So it, 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 don't don't feel like, oh my God, my world is crumbling. Everything is. Why will God do this? I've come to say to you today that God makes all things beautiful in His time. That is exactly what is happening here. Now the next night I caught from that verse two of the of that verse says, "Whatever happens to us is planned and known by God. Nothing takes Him by surprise." Glory to God. So He says. And the Lord gave Joachim, king of Judah, into his hand. So, for, for, for them, for, for Judah, they would think, what's happening? Why are we going through this? What? Let me tell you, God knows it and he understands it. So, the same thing to us. Whatever we are going through, God knows it and he understands. The number four thing I got from there is that never give the devil a chance in your life because he takes everything he can from you once he has gotten a chance in your life and that is it see as a believer let me sound this alarm to you don't give the devil a chance in your life because you know why 
once it take hold of your life it takes everything you know what the bible says for for the thief commit not but to steal to kill and to destroy so the ultimate aim of the devil is to what to destroy so once he gets a hold of you or into your life he takes everything he takes everything and that is why you need to stand your feet stand your ground not the god you serve know what who he is to you and how he can be there for you and by the power by the help of god in your life you don't allow the devil to gain access into your life all right i'll read verse 3 of that same scripture verse 3 says then the king instructed ashpenaz the master of his eunuchs to bring some of the children of israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles oh my god verse 4 young men in whom there was no blemish but good looking gifted in all wisdom possessing knowledge and quick to understand who had the ability to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and the literature of the children? oh my god see can you see the item that the king is looking for in the life of those people and that was why i said do not allow the devil to take hold of your life because when he takes hold of your life he takes the best of the best out of your life now verse 3 says, bring into the king's service some of the idiots from the royal family and the nobility number one thing i jump at me you know, in verse 3 says that as a believer we must be at a lot at all times may god help us the enemy wants to take advantage of us and take the best of all our best and we must not allow him i just said that already so don't allow the devil because he wants to take the best out of the best of our lives the second thing i saw there is said he said i also see it from another light in the marketplace if you must roll with the king then you must be a king or a prince yourself have the attitude and mannerism of a king and prince yes let's look at it from the business perspective if you must roll with the kings if you must be a champion if you must dine with the kings you see he said see a man diligent in his ways he will walk before kings and not mere men if you must walk with kings if you must roll with the the high and the influential you must watch you must be influence yourself you must be a king or a prince yourself you must have their mannerism you must have learned you must be the best in your world as well i'm speaking to someone hearing it today do you want to go into that business that you have a lot of competition and you have big guns in that competition i tell you one of the ways you can get there you, you can roll with them is when you are good at what you are doing when you have that mentality the mindset of a king and of a prince and you are acting and living as one number two in the marketplace no one wants anything short of the best so make yourself one in your field of expertise in your business or in your career and that's what i say to people and i say to myself as well if I must be one of the best of the best, then I must be the best at what I do. Let people say, when people think about, oh, this, they are talking about you. You see, I was in a gathering, you know, sometimes at the end of June, and somebody was introducing me to, you know, a business, uh, um, a businessman, or I mean, a doctor. And the person said to, to that person, he said, this is the guy I was talking to you about. The guy, when you talk about SharePoint, when you talk about, you know, you know tech things, this is the guy I was talking to you about. Why would she say that? Because she has seen value from what I have done for her. So what am I trying to say? If you must rule with the king, you must, if you must be at the best of your career, you must be good yourself. You must work at it. You must bring your A game. The other thing, remember, Ash Penas is scouting for people in the royalty, royal family. Or nobility some are business some same as business they are looking for the best for the organization someone said when preparation meets an opportunity then you get the job you know a lot of people you say you want to get into a job and you don't even have the 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 the, the knowledge you don't even have the the uh, credentials you don't have the certification you know you you, you got nothing and when they call you to come and, and say, oh, we need a PMP and you, you, you don't, you don't have it. So how will you get the job? 
there is no way they're looking for a business intelligence analyst you don't have anything at all to show that you have you have attained the knowledge so how will you get into it you want to go in for for business analysis and and you don't even have CBAP. how will you get it but what i'm trying to say is that you need to prepare yourself for that thing that you want to get into i don't know who is listening to me and this is coming to you um i want to, i want you to understand something you have to prepare yourself for that thing that god is planning you for oh my god uh we are 10 minutes already let me just quickly go in, in the verse verse 4. he said young men in whom there was no blemish so know that you can be in the palace live there and named as one of them and not be fit to take the tax the business in marketplace is looking for who young men people that are young at heart you don't have to be young you can be old but you can be young in your heart you know have the mentality of the young you, you are not saying ah this is how it, it used to be and that is how it will be forever and ever no 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 in the marketplace they are looking for people that are young at heart people that does not have a physical defect they are healthy you 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 you, you want to work and you you're, you're not keeping yourself healthy some people even i mean i wonder how some people even live their life no exercises nothing you, you, you don't do anything you just wake up in a day go to work come back eat do every manner of things you're not exercising you're not keeping your body fit how will you be able to meet with the demands or challenges of the job they're looking for people that are good looking handsome hey guy brother sister don't 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 just dress shabbily don't look anyhow thank god for uh for some of the people that god have brought around my life that helps me to say oh brother saying you are not dressing good today you need to dress this way put this combination and you know we're learning daily day by day to get to where we want to get to you need to look good look smart look sharp you, you need to be you, you need to be ready for that thing that god is bringing you into you need to be smart you need to be wise you need to be wise you need to show wisdom how do we show wisdom wisdom um um is the correct application of knowledge when you apply your knowledge properly then you, they will say you are wise you understand so that is wisdom knows about or capacity to understand science that's one of the things they were looking at the, the, uh, the king was looking for there so what does that say to me in the business world you need to have the knowledge of the tax you are trying to get into the uh, the, the job you are trying to get into you know i see one of our sisters she's into uh, it but uh, she she wanted to go into something else and i see her climbing the roof doing some things i said oh my god this sister is going in for it for why because she's preparing herself for that place that she wants to get she's seen herself there already so you need to prepare yourself get yourself ready for what you need to do another thing is he said those people that are educated see i tell you if you must get to that place that god wants you to be that thing that you are dreaming or thinking of you need to educate yourself i mean when i say educate yourself i don't mean uh go back to school or do this yeah if you need to go back to school yes go back to school but i'm saying get knowledge in that field of expertise that you are you might be a professional and you have been doing that job for a long time and you say oh we know everything i tell you things are changing every day every day every day i mean with this world of ai co-pilots chat gpt and the rest of them you need to put yourself a brace of technology of things that are happening learn 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 and learn and the last thing i will talk about is and work or fit to work for the business and as those i've been talking about you have to be fit for the business sometimes being able to speak other languages can boost your chance of success in getting job or businesses oh my god and what am i trying to say learning other languages sometimes can boost your chances of getting into a job or into a role if it is one more language you need to get to that level that you need to get to come on go for it and you can do it and now what i what do i want to say you don't have to rush at it you can take it one step at a time and i believe you will get there hello i believe you have been able to learn something from all that i said today if you must take out something today education learn keep learning 
you know somebody says the day you stop learning the day you start dying keep learning add value to yourself get ready let people see you and say that oh this guy has got it he has it he can do it you know and i pray for you in the name of jesus as you take step of faith to get into those things that god wants you to do by taking action you will get there in the name of jesus i'll see you very soon god bless you and have a great week ahead in jesus name amen god bless you